the fear of the unknown, hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari bukas, kung mag magkakaroon pa ako ng trabaho, kung buhay pa ba ako, kung healthy ako, and all that. So, parang nagpanik ako. And I was like, if ever ba may mangyari sa akin, paano yung maiiwan ko? Paano yung anak ko? So, what's gonna happen to Kira? Yan here and welcome to our channel. So, um, in a couple of weeks since I did a sit down video, but uh, because I got caught up in work, but I would not miss this chance today to create this video because I wanted to create awareness at the same time, um, share what I know about this very important topic. So, for today's vlog, we are going to talk about life insurance. Why is it important to have one? What are the benefits of life insurance and what are the things that you need to take into consideration or the things that you need to do before you decide to have one. Before we get started, disclaimer lamang po, I am not a licensed financial advisor nor affiliated with any insurance, um, life insurance company. And this video as well is not sponsored by any life insurance company. I just wanted to share with you. Um, my knowledge and my experience and what I know about life insurance. If you're interested, please keep on watching and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit subscribe and also click that bell notification so that you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Go ahead and talk about life insurance policy. Ano nga ba ang pag sinabi natin life insurance policy? So, a life insurance policy is a contract between the insured, in my case, um, in my example, ako, and um, the life insurance company, which is, for example, Sun Life, or it can be any other insurance companies like Pro Life, or it can be Manu Life, or whatever life insurance that you may think of. Life insurance is actually a beneficial tool that helps protect and um, help your family and loved ones financially, just in case knock on woods lang may mangyaring masama sa inyo, like death, accident, or magka critical illness. So there are actually different types of life insurance, but we will focus more on the what we call VUL or the Variable Universal Life Insurance. So this is popularly known as life insurance policy plus investments in one. Kasi, pwede siyang life insurance at the same time, you can choose to have add-ons or what we call riders or in um, portion ng binabayad mong premium ay napupunta sa life insurance. The other portions um, go to investments. It can be for retirement. It can be for a critical illness or it can also be for educational plans. These are actually the situations where you can use your life insurance or dito papasok yung life insurance. First, of course, we have retirement. So, retirement age is 60, if I'm not mistaken. So, ba ang hindi gustong pagdating mo ng 60 years old is you will just have to enjoy whatever you have worked hard for your entire life, for your entire career while working, di ba? So, so mo na lang pa-travel-travel at the age of 60 or before you can even reach that age or gusto mo na lang i-enjoy yung... Um, perang pinagpaguran mo habang nagtatrabaho ka. So, you can use that for retirement purposes. This one is death. So, death is really unavoidable. Whether we like it or not, doon din naman tayo patungo. But, we all know for a fact that it's really expensive na mamatayan kaysa sa magkaanak. So, um, in most cases, mahal magpalibing, mahal yung bumili ng kabaong, yung lupang paglilibingan, and all other expenses na pwedeng gastusin pag may death sa family. So, of course, let's say for example, yung policy owner or yung insured um, biglang namatay for whatever reason it is, yung mga beneficiaries or yung mga maiiwan na pamilya nung namatay ay may makukuhang benefit from their life insurance. So, this does not apply only to parents, but this can be also to anybody who is considered a breadwinner. Pwede yung panganay, pwede kahit sinong member of the family, pwede yung um, grandparents, basta kung sino man yung nagpa-insured or kumuha ng policy. Next one is accident. So, just like death, accident is also unavoidable. It can happen anytime. 
no matter how careful you are, but there would really come a time na maka-accidente ma ka. So, it's one of the unfortunate events wherein it can have a great impact in your life financially because kailangan mo magpagamot dahil na-accidente ka or you have lost your job because you got into an accident or you can no longer get a job because you are permanently disabled because of an accident. So, in that case, pag na-accidente ka, nawalan ka ng trabaho, you no longer have an income, pero ang expenses ng family mo will never stop. Kahit ma-accidente ka dyan, mawalan ka ng work, or um, hindi ka na magkaroon ng trabaho, the bills will still be piling up. So, this is a perfect opportunity where life insurance would come in kasi um, whatever is the value of your policy or insurance policy, yung beneficiary mo may makukuha in times of accident or pag na-accidente yung policy owner or your yung account holder. Next is education. So, hindi lang naman parents ang nagpapaalal sa mga anak. It can also be uh, whoever member of the family, pwedeng ate, pwedeng kuya mo, or pwedeng bunso mo magkapatid, nagpapaaral sa mga mas nakakatandang kapatid. The point here is to be more prepared in terms of um, planning child's education. So, as early as infancy, pwedeng baby pa lang yung child mo, I mean, pwede, pwedeng baby pa lang yung anak mo, pinagaandaan mo na yung pag-aaral niya so that when the time comes na mag-college na siya, reading uh, funds na magagamit pantusto sa pag-aaral niya. So, mawalan ka man ng work, mag-retire ka man balang araw, yung anak mo secured na kasi meron na siyang money or funds na nakalaan for her education, his or her educational expenses. Okay. Now, we will move on to the benefits of having a life insurance or getting a life insurance. First, of course, is you have flexible terms. So, depending actually on your life insurance will depend on your age, if you are smoking or not, as well as with your lifestyle and your health condition. Kung meron kang pre-existing health condition or pre-existing critical condition, so, syempre, magvavary yung plan mo or um, it has a big effect on the policy or insurance policy that you will be getting. Well, siya in a way that you can have add-ons as I've mentioned earlier or riders. So, pwedeng life insurance siya at the same time, you can get investments, pwede mo siyang for retirement, pwede mo din siyang kunin because you need a critical illness coverage and you wanted to prepare for your child's education. So, pwede din siyang for educational plan. Next one is, um, aside to flexible terms, in times of death, merong makukuha yung beneficiaries mo. Let's say, for example, you as the policy holder, when the time comes na namatay ka, again, for whatever reason, may makukuhang benefit yung family mo. So, may maiiwanan ka. So, parang, parang sumakabilang buhay ka man, you are not worried about sa mga maiiwan mo because they're safe, they're secured, they have the money na iniwan mo because of your life insurance. And of course, um, wala na silang, hindi na sila mag-worry about kestusin sa pagpapalibing and other expenses pag namatay ka because of um, your life insurance policy. In terms also of accident, the beneficiaries, so for example, ako yung insurance holder, ang mga beneficiaries ko can be my family, can be my parents, it can be my husband, it can be my um, child, my daughter, um, they will get the death benefit or accidental benefit in case may mangyari man sa akin, mamatay ako or ma-accidente ako, nakon woods lang. Definitely, for the policy owner or for whoever got the insurance, just in case nabuhay pa siya um, right after the terms of the insurance policy. Say, for example, the insurance policy mo, ang terms non is for 10 years or 20 years and say, buhay pa yung insurer, insured, uh, makukuha niya, he, he or she can withdraw the money, the face value of that insurance benefit. So, so parang ano lang siya, parang forced savings. So, parang pera mong inipon every month 
na hindi mo ma-withdraw ma for a long time, say 10 years or 20 years, but right after that, say, buhay ka pa, walang nangyaring masama sa iyo, you can get your money plus, of course, the interest. So, as far as I know, um, when you invest into life insurance, the, is, the investment is actually higher than um, the interest that you will be getting when you decide to place your money sa banko. Or Keep on hearing um, terms and it may sound like a jargon to you. So allow me to explain what are the meanings of this term. Well, we have insured. So yung insured, ito yung tinatawag natin policy owner. So whoever got the life insurance, siya yung tinatawag natin insured. So halimbawa ako, kumuha ako ng insurance sa Sun Life or any other life insurance, ako yung policy owner or the insured. Ako yung may-ari ng insurance plan. Next one is what we call beneficiary. So, if I am the policy owner or the insured, pwede yung beneficiary ko or tinatawag natin dependents can be my family, it can be my parents, or it can be anybody else na gusto kong ilagay sa, um, ilagay as uh, beneficiaries ko or dependents. Sila yung magbe-benefit just in case may mangyaring masama sa akin, sila yung makakakuha ng amount of money that uh, whatever value of the investment that I got from my life insurance. So one of course is premium. Um, yung premium naman, this is the monthly payment that you will be paying. So syempre, pag kumuha ka ng life insurance po policy, it definitely has a cost. So pwede babayaran mo siya, whatever terms it is, it can be monthly, every month, or it can be quarterly, which is every three months, it can be annually or every year, depende yun sa terms. Pero pag sinabi natin premium, it's all about monthly payment. So yun yung plan na babayaran mo. Parang yun yung hulog mo. Parang nagiging savings mo siya. Ito naman yung mga things that you need to do or you need to take into consideration before you decide to get a life insurance. The first thing, of course, that you need to do is pay off debts. Dapat mabayaran mo lahat ng utang mo. Whether it's a small amount or big amount of money that you na pinagkakautangan mo, dapat mabayaran mo muna siya. You have to start with a clean slate. Ika nga. So, kasi pag kumuha ka ng life insurance, at the same time, may binabayaran ka pang utang, mag-doble-doble yung gagasusin mo. Mahirapan ka lang, baka hindi mo masustain yung premium ng life insurance mo, which is tendency is, masasayang lang siya kasi hindi mo siya natapos, hindi mo magagamit. Next one is, you have to build up an emergency fund for 3 to 6 months of emergency fund. Just like like the like our current situation when we had COVID, hindi naman natin to inexpect, di ba? Emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere. So, it's really very important that we have an emergency fund. That's also one thing, one of the things that I'm currently working on. Kasi iba na din talaga ang handa, iba na din talaga yung prepared. Um, just like what happened during this pandemic, wherein a lot of us lost our, many of us rather have lost jobs, many of us have um, lost our business, many have were not able to um, work, many of us have died because of the virus. So, mainam talaga na meron kang emergency fund na may dudukot mo in cases like this. Manang trabaho, meron ka pa rin perang magagamit for your grocery, meron kang perang magagamit sa pagpapa-hospital, pagpapa-check-up, just in case there's, just in case you're sick, or um, any other unforeseen expenses, meron kang perang magagamit because you were able to build an emergency fund. So, Start saving to build up emergency fund. I know that it's kind of hard and challenging, especially during this time. But again, if there's a will, there's a way. This one is make saving a habit. So, interrelated siya sa um, building an emergency fund. Fund kasi you were you won't be able to save. You won't be able to have an emergency fund if we don't have a saving habit. So, technique is income savings, and then expenses. So, pag may sumweldo ka, mag-alat ka muna for the savings bago ka mag-gumasas ng pera mo. Kasi, kapag sumweldo ka, tapos gumasas ka muna, and konti lang yung tinira mo sa saving mo, that is actually not a good 
habit. So, affected yung finances mo. Hindi mo na na babalance at hindi mo um, na ma-manage ng maayos yung pera mo. Is avoid buying things that you don't need kasi you will end up selling them din naman in the future because you will be needing money. So, if Whenever you want to make a purchase, just think of it, just ask yourself, is this something that I need or is this just something that I want? Like for example, there's a new um, phone that is out in the market. So, kailangan mo ba yan just because you want it to be in like your friends and you wanted na makiuso ka? Or is it because you really need that for work, for example, or whatever purpose you may have. So, di ba? Kung hindi mo naman kailangan, wag mong bilhin. Pero pag kailangan mo, edi push. Let me give you an example. So, for example, kotse. Um, gusto mong bumili ng kotse. You ask yourself, kaya mo na bang bumili ng kotse? Kaya mo na bang bayaran ito ng buo? Or gagawin mo siya, ilo-loan mo siya, and mag installment basis ka? So, meron ka na bang funds na nakaalat just in case mawalan ka ng trabaho para ipambayad mo sa kotse mo, sa bahay mo, or whatever whatever it is that you loan. Or, for example, gusto mo mag-travel, did you save up for it? Or, nagpa-swipe ka ng credit card para makabili ka ng ticket and makapunta ka sa ibang lugar. So, there's nothing wrong about, you know, traveling, there's nothing wrong with buying a car, with buying a house. But, syempre, dapat talaga, you are prepared financially. Then, of course, um, this is also what you need to do. And I think I also have to do this myself. Is uninstall Lazada and uninstall Shopee. <laughs> Kasi, the more that you have these online apps, the more that you will be tempted to have unnecessary purchase. Like, for example, si Lazada and Shopee, magno-notify na magno-notify sa'yo ng my sale. Like, the 7-7 sale or the 8-8 sale, whatever. So, syempre, mapapacheck ka, tapos mamimili ka ng items na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan just because they were on sale. Unfollow online sellers. <laughs> Unfollow online sellers talaga. Pero seriously, kidding aside, um, syempre, pag may mga friends ka or may mga online sellers ka nakikita, kahit you don't need, you don't need their products, kahit hindi naman siya ganun ka-importante, just because they are your family or they are your relatives or friends, you wanted to buy their products, whatever they are selling, because you want to show support. Where in any so, so I know that the intention is good, but then think of in in financial aspect, na papagastos ka unnecessary, nagkakaroon ka ng unnecessary expenses, kasi hindi mo naman kailangan pero binili mo. You could have used it for something um, better or for something um, na mas kailangan mo. No. The reason why I'm actually talking about this life insurance is because I have decided to get one myself. So, ako naman, kumuha ko ng life insurance uh, with Sun Life. Um, it's because I think that it's, it's necessary nowadays. It's beneficial and for me, it's practical. Talaga, just to be honest with you guys, before talaga, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of financial advisors who are sending me messages asking me if I have already life insurance or if I am interested in getting one and ako talaga, sin zone ko lang sila or sometimes I already decline without me seeing the value of it. So, nung nagka-COVID, doon ko talaga na-realize yung importance of having a life insurance kasi I got scared. I got scared for myself, I got scared for Kira. I was like anxious, I was fearful of what's going to happen next. And then of course, syempre, um, since for retirement purposes ang kinuha ko sa Sun Life, I, yung reason kasi is I wanted to enjoy my life when the day comes na magre-retire ako. So syempre, nowadays parang okay, puro trabaho, 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 work, work, work. I work with three home-based jobs and I feel like nakakapagod talaga and I don't want na when the time comes, sa 60 years old na ako, imbes na hayahayang buhay ko, sitting pretty na lang ako, nagtatrabaho pa rin ako, and, or you know, I'm I'm worried about what's gonna happen tomorrow kasi may pera pa ba ako, or you know, things like that. So, I don't want to worry about my future, kaya as early as now, pinaghahandaan ko talaga siya. Although, I'm already a little late kasi, at my age, dapat talaga, when you get a life insurance, it is really recommended that you start young. 
like you know when you are on your 20s um early 20s like that kasi ako nasa 30s na ako ngayon pa lang ako mo ng life insurance kasi your life insurance is more expensive when you are getting older and parang maliit na lang yung benefit na makukuha mo when the time comes so when you start young the more that the higher the value of your insurance is. When, pag, if ever magkaroon ako ng critical illness, kasi I don't have a life ins I don't have a health insurance coverage. So, um, just in case magka critical illness ako, hindi naman natin hinihingi, at least meron akong coverage through my Sun Life um, insurance policy. So, meron akong critical illness benefits. Same with um, death and accidental benefits. So, just in case ma-accidente ako, may makukuha yung family ko or may makukuha yung mga beneficiaries ko because of the policy that I got. Happy to know um, because I asked most of my friends if they have already life insurance and, and the, I was amazed kasi lahat sila meron ng halos lahat sila meron ng life insurance it, it although it's from different providers yung iba sun life yung iba um, yung iba sun life, yung iba pro life, yung iba uh, man life. Pero alam mo yun, meron na sila. So parang, ah, okay, ako na lang pala yung wala. Ah, okay, ako na lang pala yung hindi pa kumuha ng life insurance. So, buti na lang talaga, kumuha ako. And of course, it pays to talk to somebody who can explain you well about life insurance, who can, you know, teach you about investments, and who can um, guide you about financial literacy and... Uh, you know, if you're having a hard time saving, you know, they can give you tips on how you can save more, things like that. So, I talked to a financial advisor. Her name is actually Clarice San Felipe. She has a Facebook page. I will be putting on the link below. Siya yung financial advisor ko and siya rin yung kinuhaan ko ng life insurance because aside from the fact na pakilala ko siya personally kasi syempre, magkukuha ka ng life insurance, doon ka talaga sa trusted mo na and um merong, kumbaga, merong magandang credibility. <laughs> Siyempre, diba, there are a lot of scammers na naglipa na. So, it pays when you know somebody. But of course, we really cannot trust anyone, anybody nowadays. So, anyway, um, alam ko naman na, and, you know, this this financial advisor is really into um, investment, stock market. So, talagang, ano talaga siya, financially literate, kumbaga. Kaya, siya yung kumuha ko ng service niya. And then, I'm also recommending my friends na kumuha sa kanya. Kasi alam kong mapapanatag yung loob ko na, okay, she will really take care of you. She would answer any questions that you have regarding life insurance, um, how it works, paano yung process. So, especially ngayon na may COVID, um, as far as I know, since they, they value our safety, so, meron na nga yung mga online application. And like before, na yung presentation ng mga policies and plans na uh, fit sa sa'yo as a policy owner, as a prospective policy owner, um, they're meeting you face-to-face -face para they can, you know, explain or present whatever plan that might interest you. Nowadays, pwede, nang, pwede na nila kayong tawagan via phone, pwede via messenger, pwede via Zoom meeting or via Skype as long as they can, you know, present the um, insurance policy or the benefits of getting one to you. So, if you have any questions as well, they can answer that. So, yun. Um, if you're interested also to contact this person, please check out her Facebook page. Um, her name is, her Facebook page name is uh, Financial Advisor Clarice. The link is on the description below. Hi everyone, my name is Clarissa San Felipe and I am a licensed financial advisor. And my mission is to spread financial literacy. So help me fulfill that mission. Let me help you and your family secure your future. Thank you. Are able to get something valuable out of this topic? And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again on our next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.